I'm here with Bernie Curran, who was um, one of Godfrey Tanner's best friends. Um, what, for those of us who don't know Godfrey, Bernie, what can you tell us about him? He was the sort of fellow that most of us I get put off when you're in the company of a great scholar. You get a bit embarrassed about your own ignorance. But he actually had the ability to make you feel as though you were on his level. So students would come to the bar who didn't know him from Adam and he would introduce himself and ask them what subject they were doing and within no time he would be discoursing with them and asking their points of view and so he would share his knowledge but at the same time he would have the student walk away thinking well I've just imparted something I've helped somebody so he had that great ability. Yeah, so we are we are sitting in the newly refurbished refurbished Godfrey Tanner bar do you think Godfrey would approve? Godfrey, of the would, design? Appro Godfrey would certainly approve because he loved the external signs of those things that were dear to him. So to see these things were very special, the blazer, the oars, the, uh, the bike, uh, these were all part of the, the showman. This is what, what, what he, he was a showman. He loved to actually display with all these signs, he's out with signs so that people could actually recognize that this was a man of the university. The photograph up on the wall, the portrait on the wall, was taken on a Saturday morning, was done on a Saturday morning. Some of us would go around to his place in Wolf Street. He called it the bestiary, the home of the beast, because he was often known as the beast. He called himself the beast. But in those moments, we would gather around, cup of tea, arrowroot biscuits, the worst biscuits in history, the worst tea in history, and we'd sit around and just chat as friends, you know, people from all walks of life. And that's when you saw the private Godfrey. So the private Godfrey, but this is the public Godfrey. This is the man of the university. He would love to be sitting here with a jazz band going at full force while he was talking. He would be taking wine up to them to encourage them. It sounds like he would have been an amazing man. He was an amazing man. And um, he could be quite um, shocking. He came over to our house one day. I had a beautiful daughter, Penny. Penny was in year 11. And Godfrey said to her, my dear girl, where do you intend to go to university? And Penny said, oh, Professor, I hope this doesn't upset you, but I want to go to Sydney. Splendid idea, my dear girl. You can fornicate as much as you like, and your parents never need worry or know. <laughs> my wife said, Godfrey, don't, Godfrey, Penny, get to bed. So, so I went into Penny to put her to bed, and I said, it was good having Godfrey, wasn't it? And she said, yeah, Dad, but what's fornicate? <laughs> <laughs> I presume that's on there. <laughs> Bernie Curran, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Lovely to be with you. Wonderful. <laughs> Thanks, mate.